Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic in our In Christ series is New Creation Part 3 and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, all things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. Today I would like for us to consider our anchor scripture together with Ephesians 2.10 and 2 Corinthians 5.15. Let me quote these scriptures. First, 2 Corinthians 5.15 says, And he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Now I want you to have our anchor scripture in mind while we look at these other scriptures. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are his creation, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time so that we should walk in them. So our scripture tells us, this is our anchor scripture now, it tells us that in Christ we are a new creation. But the Bible also tells us that this new life was given so that we who receive it may no longer live for themselves or ourselves, but for the one who procured the new life for us. It is important that we grasp this. When Jesus died for us, he did so with the intention of giving us new life that will no longer belong to us, but to him. Let's read 2 Corinthians 5.15 again. He died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves. Ephesians 2.10 then tells us that as the new creation, we are in the new birth. We have been created for good works that God expects us to work in. The last day we spoke about some of the implications of being in Christ. I believe that today's reading of these three scriptures gives us one of the biggest implications. If you are in Christ, you no longer belong to yourself. You were given a new lease of life, but the one who died for you expects that you will live that life for him. Remember a few days ago we spoke about the difference between verbalizing loyalty and lordship and actually doing loyalty and lordship. In Christ, you no longer live for yourself. You were created for specific works. You were reborn to live a life of allegiance, total allegiance to the one who gave you life. I do not know what you were told when you got saved, but today I present the Bible to you. In Christ, your life is not your own. You do not do whatever you like. You follow the dictates of the one who called you. It is really important because in the coming days, we're going to be dealing with the benefits of being in Christ. But can you truly say you are living for Christ? When last did Christ influence any of your decisions? Can Christ interrupt your vow not to speak to that person that offended you? Can Christ interrupt your personal ambition and ask that you go in a different direction? Have you sat before the Lord to inquire about your role in Ephesians 2.10? If you are in Christ, then you belong to Christ. If you are in Christ, then the life that you live is no longer yours. Remember, the essence of this series is to get you to meditate, think, and align your experience with what God has said. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word this morning. I pray that in every heart your light will so shine that we will begin to, by your grace, live truly for you. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, just drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.